Disclaimer, in the making of this digital essay, no coral reefs were harmed, only students. Meredith Farmer. Australia's Great Barrier Reef is a beautiful network that houses thousands of unique sea creatures within its vibrant coral. In the past few decades, the coral has been subjected to substantial bleaching, which is the coral's defense mechanism against the rising ocean temperatures. The once colorful coral turns white because it is attempting to rid itself of the part of the coral that is impaired due to the rise in temperature. Before the coral completely dies, it transforms into a fluorescent white color. It is as if the coral is saying, please look at me, please notice. Everything in the reef relies on the health of the coral. Many species of fish live there and are protected by its anemone, and the coral eats small fish that dwell at the bottom of the ocean. Without the reef, many species of fish will go unprotected, and when one part of an ecosystem dies, it can have catastrophic effects on the rest of the ecosystem. After animals at the bottom of the food chain are affected, animals at higher levels will begin to die off because they no longer have a food source. This in turn will have effects on the socioeconomics of the reef. The breathtaking array of marine creatures includes 600 types of soft and hard corals, more than 100 species of jellyfish, 3,000 varieties of mollusks, 500 species of worms, 1,625 types of fish, 133 varieties of sharks and rays, and more than 30 species of whales and dolphins. With threats to the Great Barrier Reef outlined through the process of ocean acidification, what is lost with the bleaching of the corals and how can we boost this ecological industry over its greatest competitors? Coral reefs are described by Charles Darwin as ranked high amongst the wonderful objects in the world and these living, breathing organisms bring more than beauty but significant capital to the Australian and world economy. With the ecological importance that the Great Barrier Reef supplies, one may say that this ecological industry is invaluable, yet putting a price on the reefs directs policy to defend its protection. So what exactly is the Great Barrier Reef worth? The estimate now is that tourism and preservation brings in over $6 million annually to the GDP in Australia, as well as around 64,000 jobs. The reef's biggest enemies, besides storms, cyclones, bleaching, and crown starfish, all that have accelerated with climate change, are industries like the Gladstone port. Bringing jobs and competing oil domination to Australia, these ports also bring water contamination and sediment loss, degrading the environment essential for reef survival. Conservative politicians fight with reef defenders over the financial gains of exporting fossil fuels and reef livelihood. Although when put side by side, what is the more ethical form of income? This industry is not only worth jobs and significant GDP gains, but it holds cultural value for all Australians. Reminder that the Great Barrier Reef is an economic powerhouse, contributing more than $6.4 billion each year to the Australian economy and around 64 full-time jobs. The cultural impacts that the destruction of the Great Barrier Reef can cause are just as detrimental to many as the economic and scientific impacts. The idea of culture covers everything from heritage to pride to spirituality. And for a lot of people, the Great Barrier Reef is a large part of their culture and identity. Yet, cultural impacts are rarely considered when environmental decisions are made. In an attempt to make cultural impacts more highly considered, there was a study done by Frontiers in Ecology and the Environment which entailed surveying thousands of people about how much the Great Barrier Reef means to them. Five different groups were focused on the study, being inland Australians, coastal residents, tourists, tourist operators, and commercial fishermen. Every participant was asked to rate on a scale of one to 10, how different aspects of their culture were being impacted by the future of the Great Barrier Reef. The eight categories were pride, place, well-being, identity, biodiversity, scientific heritage, and aesthetic. As you may imagine, tourist operators were extremely concerned for all eight categories, rating each one close to a 10. Fishermen and indigenous peoples also rated most of the categories close to a 10. Clearly, people have a connection deeper than a dollar value to a place. It's their identity, their heritage, their tradition, and their pride. However, cultural impacts are starting to work their way into environmental conversations around the globe. Cultures around the world will have more of a say in their future and the future of their environment. 
The Great Barrier Reef Marine Park is the size of approximately 70 million football fields. The Great Barrier Reef is under constant threat from human activities. Its most immediate threat is the expansion of Australian industry and international shipping. As the Australian mining industry expands, demands for ports such as the Abbott Point port to be expanded is being lobbied for by corporations. However, such projects have significant negative effects on the Great Barrier Reef. Dredging shipping lanes for these ports not only kills everything that lives in the area being dredged, but dumps thousands of tons of silt that affects hundreds of square kilometers of reef by smothering it, ruining water quality, and causing disease in coral and fish alike. A more widespread threat to the Great Barrier Reef is the increased shipping that travels through its waters, as there are two major threats that are associated with this. Not only is there the risk of invasive species entering the ecosystem via ballast tanks, but there is also the risk of industrial spillage from these ships. In 2010, the ship Shen Nang-1 accidentally grounded itself on the reef, gashing a 3 kilometer long and 250 meter wide scar onto the reef and puncturing a fuel tank, which spilled oil onto the reef. In 2015, the ship Regina spilled 15 tons of oil onto the Great Barrier Reef and then later tried to deny responsibility. However, conservation groups are taking action by demanding increased penalties on corporations who harm the reef, while others lobby international banks not to give loans to port expansion projects. See how you can do your part to protect the Great Barrier Reef. Mm -hmm.